she's not to blame for the entirety of this failure. Well, again, that's a matter. She's free to make comments. She's free to have a view. Uh, and with respect, uh, I, I am free and I believe that it is appropriate for me to wait for the findings of the, of the, of the Board of Inquiry. Uh, that is a very important process and that is one that is not yet finished, but it will be finished soon. You haven't waited until the conclusion of the inquiry or until the findings of the inquiry to come to a conclusion that Jenny McCarkos's resignation was the appropriate course to take. Yes. So, but what sorry, I'm saying, Samaria, is I'm not to going to... I'm not going, well, to come the fact that... My, my judgment on that matter uh, is doesn't change the outcome. Whether I thought it appropriate or not, she resigned. She resigned this morning. And I believe that is the appropriate course of action. Uh, and she obviously believes that's the appropriate course of action, otherwise she wouldn't have taken it. Uh, beyond that, though, what I'm saying to you is I'm not going to, and I think you would all appreciate, because you've been writing about this for quite some time, including yesterday, uh, about a whole range of issues, and I'm not going to run through a list of different issues many of which are not actually established yet. That's the job of the inquiry, and the inquiry will come back and will make findings. What they find, I, I, I can't speak to that. That's entirely a matter for you Ben. Said, you said she had accountability. You believe that she had accountability for the hotel quarantine program. Do you think she's also um, accountable for the second wave of the coronavirus pandemic? I'm not in going to be getting into that sort of commentary, Samara. If you want to draw that conclusion, then that's that's a matter for you. Is but I, I don't believe... I don't. To draw them? Sorry? Is that a correct conclusion to draw? I'm indicating to you that if you want to draw conclusions, then you can make judgments about whether they're correct or otherwise. I'm not going to be providing commentary like that. I don't think that's uh, appropriate. Yesterday, the Minister had your confidence, and today you say it's the right thing that she's resigned. What's changed? Well, the Minister's tendered her resi resignation, James. But you believe it's, it's appropriate as that. that she did so when yesterday she had your confidence? All my ministers have my, conf have my confidence. Um, Ms. Ms. McCarkos, Ms. McCarkos is not a minister any longer. She has made a decision. She has resigned. And as to details of what motivated that, you'd need to speak to her. As to details of the facts of these matters, they are rightly the province of an inquiry. And my job is to wait for those findings and then take the necessary action based on those findings to make sure that the mistakes that have occurred here can never occur again. As I've said, guys, as I've said, guys, I don't know how many days it is now. I've stood here, and I'll be here tomorrow and the next day, and as long as it takes, the best way to go, one at a time, and I'll answer them as best as best I can. Thank you, Premier. Yesterday, Rich. in the inquiry, uh, you said um, in your written statement that you held Ms. McCarthy responsible for the Department of Health and the hotel quarantine program. I'm aware had, of my statement, had, yes. Had, had you made that point to her months ago? Or was this... Was it's, this a, it's a statement of fact, Rich, so therefore it ought to have been obvious to everybody involved. Why? So did she... Like, this is the point I'm getting at. Did, I know did what she, you're getting had at. Had you made this clear to her that she was responsible for this program when it was set up? I, my statement yesterday is a statement of fact. Uh, and the, the, uh, the operations that I refer to and the conclusions that I drew and, and the comments, the statement I made and the oral evidence I gave should have been perfectly obvious to all involved. Uh, and, I, and just to that point, I'm not sure whether you were watching yesterday, but there was an organisational chart put forward. There were lots of, lots of different things put forward. I don't think what I'm saying is at odds with the facts of the matter. In fact, they are uh, absolutely clearly the facts of these matters. So why weren't you able to tell us that when we've been asking for months, who was responsible for this program? Well, there's, there is an inquiry, there's an inquiry, Rich, it's and it's not appropriate. Set up. We're, asking, we, we're asking for months what, who was responsible, and it's in, as your statement says, it's a very straightforward answer. So why weren't we able to, to learn that earlier? Well, again, Rich, as I've said to you many times, there's an inquiry going on, and I made the judgment that I was not going to be answering questions that were absolutely central to the work of the inquiry. That's not appropriate. It's not appropriate. And as to... Uh, speculating beyond that, then th that's in the past. Those matters, I've made a statement. Uh, I have, uh, beyond that, given evidence for whatever it was, two and a half, three hours or so, and uh, I outlined, uh, to the best of my knowledge and ability, the facts. Is 